Hello and welcome to episode 9 of my Grim Dawn tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on starting the quest and not a drop to drink, which I got when I spoke to Barnabas. Um, over here you can see the quest. Barnabas believes that the Slith have inhibited, inhabited the uh, cave devils crossing pumps for water. Slith are foul beasts that secrete poisons lethal to humans. Find and kill the matriarch of this Slith pack so that the water will become drinkable again. You can access the cave via the cellar underneath the shack near the ref rift gate in Devil's Crossing. And so we need to slay Vyloth the Corruptor. Okay, so from Barnabas, here's the trapdoor. So we walk around here. And let's enter this den of sliffs. Okay, so here we are. Convict's Tunnel. So let's take a look around and see how big this cave system is. Also keeping our eyes out for any loot chests. Oh. Well, I'm not going to use that to uh, fight lessons because I don't need it at the moment. No doubt that's going to change. This is a very pretty cave because it's got all like fungus growing on the sides. Prison dungeons. Okay, so we're now entering another part of the cave. Okay, nothing appears to be in there. And I can't go that way, so that's that. Oh, and there's a scrap. We'll definitely take the scraps, because they are useful. And there's an evil eye. Corruptor, I should say. Oh, something I wanted to show you is you can find these bristle furs and just, oh is that something attacking me? Okay, if you've quite finished zombies, let's now tell you what I was. Okay, so here's another item you can find, bristled fur, it's very good because look, just on its own it's 30 health plus 7 constitution, but when you start to stack them, that's now 60 health from 14 uh, constitution and you'll notice I can one more can be applied so that is a massive amount of health that we can then use to sock it onto any of these blue uh, armor slots so that will give us a ton of extra hit points which is very cool but of course we're forever upgrading our equipment so it'd be a bit of a waste to do it at the moment OK, 
Okay, I think that's all this top bit mapped out. So cool that splat damage. Okay, let's keep going this way. Oh, easy to miss. Miss uh, items in this. Oh, I can see a star appearing on the mini map. That means something nasty is going to be upon us soon. Can we handle it? We will find out. Okay, so what it looks like is we've got to go down another level now to in let's break up so through this door devil's aquifer or aquifer and lots of spiders lots and lots of spiders There was lots of spiders, not anymore. Okay, gotta wait for my mana. Easy to use up all my mana. Oh, and here's the sliffs. Well, it is a sliff boss that I've got to fight. So it only makes sense that we start seeing sliffs. Must be getting close now to this um, file off. Yeah, I just wondered whether I could hit them from there, but. Obviously not. Oh, 
Oh, and there's level 10. Okay, so once you reach level 10, you then have the option to choose your second mastery. So let's bring that up and show you. So as soon as you hit level 10, it's just like the when we before when we chose our first class, which was the occultist, and this was empty at the time. Now you can see that you've got an option to select class. Now I'm not actually going to choose a class, but what I didn't do on the first time was just quickly go over these to show you them. So let's select the class. If I click soldier, remember I can undo this and go back to the selection screen as long as I don't put one point into here. So just to show you the soldier has got uh, unique skills uh, with their paths and the, the soldier is excellent. I absolutely love the soldier for that blade arc. Um, perhaps I'll take a look at that in a later episode. Maybe I'll create a soldier and show you the uh, skill paths through that. For now let's just have a quick look. So the soldier's got a great area effect damage. Demonologist is one of my favourites as well. Oh I like them all in actual fact. I can't say one of my favourites. They're all one of my favourites. Fire strikes a great, great one to put on your main hand um, because you'll notice that if you use these this as your primary skill as a default weapon attack you get extra damage from it which is very cool and you can see that you've got passive skills you can add to it to oh well that rocks what can I tell you that's really cool so maybe again we'll look at the demonologist but a load of different skills here for you to play with and experiment with and that's why this game has uh, such a long life to it because it's this like Path of Exile that's another fantastic game that has a lot of diversity to it with this you can create lots of different characters in Grim Dawn as I showed you in episode one you can create lots of different characters one for each uh, class and then experiment with each uh, skill path so anyway there is the demonologist let's go back and look at the night blade okay the night blade again has got a load of skill paths and a load of fun everyone obviously likes to play differently well grim dawn caters to that let's undo that next we got arcanist as you can see here the equivalent of the magician in diablo 2 and again some really cool skills and spells but I'm not going to take your fun away you can try them and have a look at least until I possibly get to them and the shaman shaman can be classed as um, uh, a caster or um, it can be classed as a pet spell uh, a pet class um, because you do get some pets summon a briar form and you can summon some other uh, creatures as well a bit like the occultist so I'm not actually going to spend any points in there yet because I'm going to keep working on my occultist now my mana keeps running out so let's just boost this up because I want to get to blood of dreg so I'm going to use this skill and this skill and we're going to see how good how far I can go into this game just using these two for now until I fully max them out but let's try it. I'm not going to go for focused gaze because it puts a delay of uh, four seconds on to using this primary skill so I'm just going to go straight across here but for now let's go straight across here and I want to increase my mana, my energy. So there we go. Let's take it up all the way. Trying to get to here, 15. But that's cool because that's just giving me a ton more energy. Okay, let's continue on. I am going to do an episode soon on the Crucible. Uh, so we can take a look at that. See how cool that is. Oh, what is that? Oh, there's the timer. For those of you that can only tolerate me possibly for 15 minutes, you have been warned. For the rest of you, watch on and we'll go over a bit longer. Let's bring up the map, in fact. So. 
because I didn't go back there but I'm guessing this goes in some sort of loop so we'll con continue along here for now Okay, so there's the boss. I will do the boss in the next episode. For now, I will just... No, I don't want to get... Ah, the boss is now coming after me. And I didn't want that. I want to show the rest of this zone before we attempt the boss. The question is, will... Yet yeah, the boss will chase me, so it looks like I'm going to have to fight them in this episode. Vile off the Corruptor. Does take damage, not as much, because they must have resistances, I guess, being a sliff. Um, but we're still going to take them out. My energy is low. Yeah, it can be low. It doesn't matter. The job is done. So here we go. Let's grab all of this. And that's that quest done. In the next episode, I will hand it in and we'll finish off mapping out the uh, Devil's Aquifer. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.